Okay, in this video, we are gonna use calculus to find the area between curves, and we're going to integrate with respect to y. Um, so let's see what the problem is, and we'll do it. So we wanna find the area of the region between the curves, y equals x cubed, y equals negative x, and y equals one. So we're just given three curves, and they must somehow define a region in the plane, because otherwise we'd have more information. So let's think about it. I definitely know what y equals x cubed looks like. I definitely know what y equals negative x looks like, and I also know what y equals one looks like. So this drawing shouldn't be that bad. And then we'll see about the integral. So I'm gonna start with a set of axes. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna figure out uh, like intersection points. So if you think about it, uh, a key bound here is y equals one. I mean, we need all of them, but I'm gonna find some intersections. So uh, if y is equal to one, then x cubed is just gonna be um, equal to one, right? So uh, or x is equal to one, right? Because one cubed is one. Uh, so that's gonna be the intersection of y equals one and y equals x cubed. I also need the other intersection between y equals one and y equals negative x. So if y is equal to one, then x would have to be negative one in that case. Um, so we have those ordered pairs. And then uh, x cubed and negative x intersect at the origin. So that's not gonna be a problem. Let's sketch some things. I'm gonna start with y equals one. And then just kind of like space it out appropriately. So I'm gonna graph uh, x cubed here. If it goes up like that, um, it gives you kind of a nice region. We don't really care about the part that's uh, below the x-axis because of that intersection at zero. Uh, and y equals negative x is just a line. So I can definitely draw that. And then my region has to be bounded by all three of them and it has to be a closed region. So let me shade that in. So here's our region. Okay, so now we need to come up with four things. We need to come up with a bottom, a top, and then a left and a right. So uh, most of those are kind of given. So uh, this is definitely the right curve defining the region. This is definitely the left curve defining the region. And then uh, that's the top. The bottom is probably the hardest one, but in this case, because those the left and right intersect at zero, the origin is actually going to serve as the bottom for this thing. So we can almost write our integral, except if we're going to use dy. So when you use dy, the bounds, the lower bound and the upper bound, have to be y values. And then the functions that you use have to be x equals. So you have to solve them. You have to get x as a function of y. So I'm going to do that. So the right-hand curve currently is given to me as y equals x cubed. But what I want to do is I want to solve that for x. So I need x to be a function of y. So I'm going to say x is actually y to the one third. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the left curve. So the left curve is given to me as y equals negative x. I'm just going to solve that for x to get x as a function of y. So x is negative y. All right, so I have that. And I know that the, the lower bound is going to be 0 because the y coordinate of the origin is 0. The upper bound is going to be 1. And I can kind of write this down. So let's see. So I want the integral from 0, the lower bound, to 1, the upper bound. Um, and then it's the quantity right take away left. So the right function is y to the 1 third. The left, so it's minus. The left function is negative y. And then we're going to close that and say dy, so with respect to y. And now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to rewrite this, and then I'm going to reverse the power rule. So I don't like that minus negative y thing. Okay, we have this. Let's reverse the power rule. So 1 third, uh, if you add 1, you get 4 thirds. So it's going to be 3 fourths y to the 4 thirds. And then integrating y, you get 1 half y squared. And we're going to go from 0 to 1. So 0 and 1. And uh, what's nice is when you plug in 1, you get something. When you plug in 0, uh, everything just zeroes out. So really, we just have to focus on plugging in 1. So when I plug in 1, I actually just get uh, 3 fourths and then plus 1 half. And then if I substitute in 0, I'm just going to get 0. So all I have to do is add these numbers together. So I get 5 fourths, and that's the area of the region. So we could have done this with respect to x, but that would have taken two separate integrals or a triangle plus an integral. Um, it's a region that's actually a little kind of easier to do in terms of y. Um, and so I hope you found this helpful and good luck.